Good afternoon everyone, welcome to Adventure Times. Today we're doing something that we haven't done since we were kids, something very nostalgia. We're going to Beckenscott Model Village in Beaconsfield. Hayley, what do you, what you I say? haven't been since um, my granddad was alive, so that's going back 10, well even more than that, I was about 10 or 11 maybe the last time I've been so long time ago well, I'm looking forward to it see if anything's changed see if I still remember it the same way yeah we haven't we've had a few requests so um yeah we just thought we'd come and uh take a look and see what it's all about and we'll show you around to look all the prices yeah, take you in. Right, that's it. We are on our way. Hmm. Can ride on a little steam train. Ride on a steam train, one pound fifty a ride. Hmm. Not bad at all. In we go. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. That what? knock off Chessington. Ches Chessington Zoo. We, we spotted Chessington Zoo. Well, knock off anyway. Chesney Zoo. So they've got their accuracy on point, right? So this is zoo, elephants, right next to the elephants, polar bears. Oh wait, but not just polar bears, mountain goats Once too. Once we just entered the attraction of Beckenscott, I'll give you a little bit of facts. This attraction has been open for 93 years currently. It's in its 94th year. It's been open since 1929. Please don't tell me I've got my mask wrong because I tried to work it out. Yeah, it's been here forever. I mean, some of these models are probably fairly old, I'd say, judging by the state of them or the look of them. Arrows on the floor, which way do you want to go? We're going this way, are we, Hayley? Yeah. And this way. I don't think it's changed. This is Brackenberry Castle. I don't think it's a real castle in any way. I think it's made up. But with a Buckinghamshire flag on the top. It looks like a little bit like Windsor Castle to be fair. Kemp brushes. I'm sure someone would know some of the history behind these things. Clevedon Manor. Nunnery. And look, we get our first sight of the railway.
Charles truck, a rugby field, a college over there, old bus station. The detail on these models are amazing. Sort of reminds me slightly of like um, Legoland. Very slightly, just obviously without Lego. But yeah. Oh, this must be Wickham. This must be High Wickham here. Because I believe that's the town hall maybe. To be fair, for what you pay, it's a pretty decent size. This reminds me very much of Beaconsfield train station, to be fair. I don't know if it is, it might even be High Wycombe, to be fair. Oh no, it's Mary Lou. Mary Lou. I don't know if it's based on any of the stations in Bucks, but yeah. Well, I, knew, I love about this place is you can see all the way that the, like, the mechanics and stuff in one little room where they control the railway. It's intense. I love this area. I <laughs> this. A little noddy. <laughs> Definitely, if you have the time, get yourselves down here. It is well worth the trip. Doesn't cost a lot. Oh. As we walk through this bit, I just want to show you like my favourite part as a child. I absolutely grew up loving this bit. that the fairground rides actually work as a kid that was like the best part it was so magical in the waltz as well the ghost house That I always admire. One thing that I always admire about this place is the attention to detail, mini furniture, and haberdashery details with all the ribbons and stuff, and the curtains, it's got the bank, even the little shoes, news agents. details inside the church. The 
we found a mini F telling? <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> Inspiration from Beckenscott. <gasps> found the airfield though. And we found Sydney Opera, a Sydney Bridge, Sydney Harbour Bridge. All and came it... from Beckenscott. So we've just come into the tea room at Beckenscott where we've got a coffee and a tea. Hayley's got very something very nostalgic to her. Right? Ice cream. So every time we used to come, we'd bring a picnic, but we'd come and get ice cream. And it was always this one, never anything else. It was expensive, but worth it. It's good. But more importantly, these coffee cups, that sounds really bad, I'm sorry. These coffee cups are actually themed. Now you don't see that. It's very rare you see that, so I'm very impressed. Yeah, sort of your childhood memories. Yeah, let's, sort of, let's sort of, go to the cups. Exactly, it's all about the cups and the coffee. Yum. So we've just had a nice coffee and uh, tea, and coffee tea room. Oh, my insides are burning. Yeah, we're nice cream as well. It's, not... it's quite funny because we kind of ran in there because it was starting to rain and we were cold. And the first thing we done was bought an ice cream. Mm, as you do. It's not the cheapest in there, but I think that's just probably well, so they can reinvest in the uh, village, I'm it was guessing. Like, just the mm. context, it was £12.80 for a coffee, a fruit tea and two ice creams. It's not the cheapest, but it's, you know, it's a small park. You know, you've got to expect it's, you know, prices. I don't know. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Good aerial shot of the uh, model village. Hey, what are we doing up there? With a raging Haley down there. Really? Hello. Okay. Little uh, Grant and Stone sponsorship there. Get all your, your bathroom and kitchen needs. Plenty of little bins around. He's a local Beckinsville company, A.H. Tripp & Son, the removal company. What we have here, Beckinscott, Beckinscott Hospital. There we go. I mean, it looks more like a prison to me, but you know. Scott, right? Only to find battle galleons. It's just miss it's just missing the little shark. I wonder. There can be a shark in it, can there? It's murky in it. Construction update here at Beckenscott. <laughs> it looks like they're just doing some ground maintenance, making it all look fresh, but yeah, the kids play area. Looking very nice, and yeah, whatever is going on here. <laughs> so they're just updating it, I think. I don't think there's anything new going on, but yeah. You've heard it here first, construction update for Beck and Scott. <laughs> I can guarantee there will not be any more construction updates from Beck and Scott, potentially, but yeah. It's good that they're maintaining it and making it all look nice. Do you want a slide cred, Hayley? Do you want a slide cred? Is she thinking about it? She wants that she's thinking slide cred. No, we'll get a wet bum. You go do it. No. Go on. No. Show how manly you are. No, no, it's quite all right. Oh, I'm going to get a wet bum. I'm going to get a really wet bum. <laughs> <laughs> you got to do it again, I wasn't filming. No, shut up. Well, the weather's changed. Hopefully it will pass. I don't want to get too close because they're working, but 
you can see them actually working on stuff. How cool is that? I love areas like this. They're refurbing stuff and fixing things that are broken. Oh yeah. We're now thankfully undercover because it's now beginning to chuck it down with rain. All he wanted was a peaceful shit. Look, his whole house is falling apart. Well, that would, you know what that windmill was from, don't you? Chitty chitty bang bang. Uh -huh. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, we're going to the circus. <laughs> my old car garage that I used to go to. Is that the one that... Um... There, 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 we won't go into on camera. Hey, look. The white horse. Whip snade. Whose horse is that? Mine. More of the trains. I haven't seen a train come around here, though, yet. The old coal mine. another church here at Beck and Scott. Okay. Is that a horse or is that a goat or is that a llama? I have no idea. Is this a worn out Warwick Castle? Because look, they've even got the uh, archery and stuff. No, it's not. It's Epwood Castle Ruin. I think that's pretty much the tour done. There is a miniature railway that you can sit on and pay £1.50 to go on, but I don't think it's running today, and more to the point, it's too cold for us anyway. And we'll just take you, have a, we'll have a look in the gift shop. Goodies! Oh, good. It could be expensive. To the gift shop we go. And then you get people for your little village. It's different. That is cute. Well, that's it. We've just done Beck and Scott. It's a good day, good afternoon. I actually really enjoyed it. It was more nostalgic for, for me, to be honest, than mm. anything. But I forgot how good the tiny little details are. So think Legoland. It is mini, mini land. Mini land, yeah. Minus the Lego. Minus the better. moving, yeah. It's. <laughs> It is kind of weirdly better, but you sort of, it is Miniland-esque, just without yeah, the moving cars. It's just not plastic but, and actually made out of bricks. Yeah, uh, but trains, you can't I beat mean, the trains. It's all about the trains for me. Concrete bricks, not plastic bricks. And they've got loads of trains going around the circuit, flying around. It is really there's good. There's a hut there as well, anybody that loves watching that. They've got a hut sort of midway through. Um, where you can sit there and watch the guy actually monitor and manage the trains, so. It's good. I remember loving watching that as a kid as well. So. Highly recommend. Something to do with probably kids. It's mm -hmm. a family attraction. It's not too mm -hmm. expensive. 
get yourselves down here. We'll link the website in the uh, description. I would probably recommend trying to get down on a weekday if you can. Oh, it was it's, dead, it's dead today. quiet. There was maybe us and a couple of couples at any one time with maybe like two kids. So it was actually, it was really good. Good value for money, I think. And even like the souvenirs aren't ridiculous money. No. The only part of it that I did think was a bit was the calf. But yeah, but I guess they have to make their money. Stuff, so. Yeah, it's kind of justified, just about. Yeah, but, but yeah. yeah. We'll see you on the next one. Like and subscribe. Until next time. Comment your thoughts. We'll see you on the next one. Bye. Bye.